Okay guys, um, today is going to be, uh, this video is going to be kind of interesting, I hope. Um, I've decided to take a new path on my coil gun journey, um, if you will. Um, and that is, uh, one, there's a couple reasons actually. The coil gun handgun project failed miserably. Um, I was pushing 600 amps through the 18 gauge wire, which was heating it up after about five shots. Like, to the point where you don't want to touch it because it's uncomfortable. Um, I fried the first stage on my two stage gun and fried the SCR bank on the other one. So, that's out of the picture. And uh, what's coming into the picture is an entirely new design. It's going to be a rifle design. I just have to go portable this time and actually spend money instead of scavenging around for a month. Um, but uh, the projectile is this right here. I want to get this out of the way because this is kind of the most interesting part. Uh, projectile is actually made from quarter inch steel bolt. Um, you cut it down, or cut the thread off, cut the head off, cut it to length. I can get about three projectiles out of each one. So, possibly four if I cut them down just a little bit farther. But, uh, yeah, these are 35 millimeters long, each one is. And, uh, I used the Dremel cutting wheel. And, uh, I put this in the drill and I grind it and make it all nice and perfect. It takes me about 15-20 minutes for one projectile, but uh, it's worth it. And it's all I have, so. Um, but, uh, new coil forms and everything else as well. Uh, no more iron washers, no more steel washers, because those um, affect the inductance and everything else, and it actually degrades performance on bigger coils. Um, <clears throat> so, what I have here is a 930 seconds brass tube and uh, that was chosen because a quarter inch oops, quarter inch projectile fits absolutely perfect so there's like almost no gap at all let me show you guys here hopefully There we go, I think. Nope. I don't know. But there's like almost no gap. Um, and this could be the first stage. Uh, the projectile will be just slightly in the coil, as you can see. You'll load it. Um, hopefully this can be a bolt action. Um, I'm hoping to load these in there, but uh, who knows. Anyways, it'll load the projectile, you load the projectile in, it'll fire, it'll come out of here, it'll enter the second stage, right here, um, and this one right here, this disc is going to hold the infrared LED and photo transistor setup, and it's going to block that, which will then fire the second stage, and uh, as you can see, uh, it'll be in the barrel quite a ways. Um, that way everything is stable when it fires. And it'll exit out. But wait. It's going to enter the third stage. Um, and uh, it's going to be even farther in the barrel this time just for stability sakes. Once again it'll break the infrared LED phototransistor beam. And uh, it'll fire and send the projectile on its way. So, um, I might cut this down a little bit, um, because it is kind of long, but, who knows. So, it's going to end up looking something a little like this. Something kind of like that. And then, uh, like I said, you'll load the projectile up. There goes my iPod. And uh, it'll fire. Poof. 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 
thumbs up for the little noises. Um, now, the only thing I'm thinking that's going to be a problem, really, is, um, one, timing is definitely going to be an issue because I'll have to design the circuit that I have very precise controlling over when it fires because instead of being able to just move the infrared um, beam wherever I want it I actually it's gonna be in a fixed position um, and it'll have to fire when it gets to right here so I'm gonna have to build a timing circuit for that and I might actually go with an IGBT firing setup um, because that way I can turn them on and off whenever I want um, very easily whereas an SCR uh, you just turn it on and it stays on and yeah but <clears throat> that's what I got so far um, the it's gonna be powered by the first station be powered by two 450 volt 560 microfarad capacitors and then the second and third stages are going to be powered by two 450 volt 470 microfarad capacitors. And uh, with that setup, I'm hoping I will be able to do 10 layers with this one, 10 layers with this one, and then 8 layers with this one. Um, whether or not it works out to be like that, I don't know yet. Um, but <clears throat> hopefully it does, and everything will be just fine and dandy. Now which one's which? Hmm. Weird. Both the same size. We're supposed to be. But anyways. Ooh. I'll be ordering the wire here in the next couple days and I should have these wound within the week. So, uh, peace out guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it.